Hey yo, I'm back like I never left. Forever fresh in the seven day. Them niggas do it for clout and for presidents. That's why I packed it up and took the seven rents. You know, never roll with an ego. Ego under the Pico. Hold up. Feet on, to feet on. The glowers, the knowers, the shiners, the showers, the non stagnant and the growers. It's the re emergence from behind the curtains. Once again, it's back, the OG, Boricua Don Dada. Y'all already know what it is, man. MLW Draft Talk, my favorite part of MLW. Um, this one, we have already said the whole Matt Cardone thing, uh, Zack Ryder, Mr. Woo Woo, Long Island Ice Tea, whatever. We're not feeling it, right? But let me try to, let me try to keep it 100 with you real quick about what I do think that Matt Cardone can do for MLW. We've seen a, a chain of, of departures from MLW. And I think that if he comes in, I, like I said, don't know how long he'll be here. But if he can come in, have some good work versus guys like Jacob Fatu. Um, I just forgot who the... Uh, no, Jacob Fatu is national open weight. Uh, and just any... Because he can go from middleweight to all the way at the top with Alex Kane. And we all know Alex Kane will run through this fool. Uh, but he comes in with a massive buzz. And if, you know, people say, oh, well, his shit didn't do this in WWE. And, you know, Impact, he did well in Impact. From what I think, I, he was a digital media champ. I, I know it's like a BT something belt or something like that. But he won a belt there. Uh, he was, I definitely will say that he had a, a, a decent stint in WWE, which is the Mecca. And now MLW. So what do you bring to MLW? My only thing is you kind of paired up with MSL, who's a bum. You know, like, that guy hasn't produced a winner ever. You know, anything he does, the flop. So you're like, shit, dude, you might have sided with the wrong guy. Like, you might have wanted to join the crazies in the calling or, uh, you know, anyone. Just anywhere except for this guy. So... Maybe he'll be able to got to turn the corner for this WTF crew, whatever it is. I don't know. But Matt Cardone's going to bring eyes to MLW, which I do think they need. Alex Kane is taking them to another level, I believe. And that's not because I'm, I'm pro Alex Kane. I just think that we had somebody that we haven't seen like that in a long time. You know, like um, Fatu was a great champion. And he had the uh, the contra unit with Joseph Samael made it even feel bigger. Uh, guys like Swerve, um, I just forgot the guy's name. He was a UFC guy. Oh man, he was a badass dude. You've had some great champions in MLW, but it's a high turnover right now. So you're sitting back going, "Well, shit, how do I stay invested with such a high turnover?" We're hoping that the O'Shea Edwards. The Kevin Blackwoods, the Love Dugs, the now Mark Cardone, um, Becca, you know, all these these specific people to take that next leap in MLW and have the product once again be super strong. You know what I mean? Like, listen, SST is fire. Um, Bumai Fight Club, and I keep saying this, and I don't want to just carry over with the O'Shea Edwards thing. That is a huge pick. For Bumai Fight Club, which I think they're going to be holding more gold in the foreseeable future. I do think that we'll see Mr. Thomas, O'Shea Edwards as tag team champs taking it off the calling. But Matt Cardone, more eyes, brings a buzz. And if you love him or hate him, it's a reaction. And that's his job. His job is to make you cheer or boo. And I'm pretty sure as soon as he walks in, you might have some cheers. You might have some boos. But guess what? He's going to have you paying attention. So, big pick for MLW, even though I don't like Matt Cardone, and if he ever says, if he ever sees this and goes, fuck this guy, fuck you too, you know what I'm saying, like, that's just how it is, but he's gonna do mad work, and like I keep saying, this is smart business to bring more eyes on MLW, that's what he's there for, ladies and gentlemen, for myself, my entire team, deuces.